In these problems, we're being asked to find dy, which is the differential of y for a couple of equations. So if you haven't come across differentials before, it probably won't be too hard if you're pretty uh, good with derivatives. The differential is, is a different notation, and then it has a particular use uh, in approximating values of functions. The way you should probably think about this is, you know, the notation dy by dx is another notation we've been using to talk about the derivative, f prime of x. These things are, are the same. If you look at just the dy part and just the dx part, that's what we call the differential. So we could rewrite this, we could put the dx over here and rewrite this as the differential of y equals the derivative of the function x um, times the differential of x. This is useful because this uh, can be used to approximate the value of a change of a function. So if uh, x varies by so much, we could call that the differential of x, and then we could compute the differential of y by multiplying by the um, derivative of the function at that point. Let's uh, take a look at how to solve this particular one. We just want to find the, the differential of y dy here. So what we're going to do, the process, is just to find the derivative of this, because we need that chunk, and then stick a dx on the end. That's really all there is to it. So let's try that. This looks a little bit complicated. Uh, we're going to need to use the product rule here. So let's say dy equals, and now I'm just going to find the derivative of this. So I'm going to take the derivative of the first thing, which is x squared, so 2x, times the second thing, so it's 4 minus 6x squared to the 1 third, plus the first thing, times the derivative of the second thing, and using the power rule here, we've got 1 third times 4 minus 6x squared to the negative 2 thirds, and that's got to be multiplied by the derivative of the inside piece here, so that would be negative 12x, so times negative 12x. And it looks like we can probably do some simplifying here. Let's see, so we've got Oh, and then all of this has, we have to stick a dx on the end, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's keep working on this derivative. So we've got 2x times 4 minus 6x squared to the 1 third plus, now here, negative 12x over 3, so that's negative 4x times x squared, so negative 4x cubed. And I'll just put this down on the bottom of the fraction to get rid of the negative on the exponent. So we've got 4 minus 6x squared quantity to the two-thirds power, and remember all of this is going to be dx. And I think we can probably do a little bit more simplifying here too if we um, get a common denominator. So if I multiply this chunk right here by, let me just um, get some scratch paper here because we're going to run out of room. So let's go ahead and multiply this chunk right here. So I've got 2x times 4 minus 6x squared to the one-third. And to get the common denominator here, I'm going to multiply this by 4 minus 6x squared to the 2 thirds over 4 minus 6x squared to the 2 thirds. So I'm really just multiplying by 1, so that's not going to change the value of anything. When I do that, I'll get this as the denominator, so it'll be in common with this chunk over here. And on the top, this piece to the 1 third, this piece to the 2 thirds, when I multiply those together, I add the exponents, I get that piece to the first power. So I really get 2x times 4 minus 6x squared to the first power, which I don't need to write. And that's quite a bit simpler. Now this is over 4 minus 6x squared to the 2 thirds. And remember our other chunk there, we have negative 4x cubed over 4 minus 6x to the 2 thirds. Since we've got common denominators now. We can go ahead and, and do the subtraction here. We've got to multiply it through this 2x uh, first. So I've got 8x minus 12x cubed minus 4x cubed over 4 minus 6x squared to the 2 thirds. And this comes out to be 8x minus 16x cubed over 4 minus 6x squared to the two-thirds. 
And remember, we were trying to calculate dy here. This is the derivative, and dy is the derivative of the function times dx. And that is our answer. A little bit of work there. Let's try the next one. So this next one here, uh, we have y equals 2x minus 3 over 3x minus 4. Looks like we're going to have to use the quotient rule here to take the derivative of this chunk. And remember to find dy, we'll just take the derivative of this and then slap a dx on it. So um, quotient rule, low 3x minus 4 times the derivative of the top, low d high, that's times 2, minus high 2x minus 3 d low, and that's times 3, all over low squared, which is 3x minus 4 squared. <clears throat> now we can do some simplifying here. So this is dy equals that times dx. And let's see what we can simplify on the top here. We've got 6x minus 8 minus 6x plus 9. And that's all over 3x minus 4 squared. This, 6x is, yeah, this simplifies to 1. So dy equals 1 over 3x minus 4 quantity squared dx. So that's a little bit of work in finding uh, the differential of y. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.